What's up guys? Here at the Cement Tech booth with Mark. We're in front of the C60. Mark's gonna give us a little walk around and show us what the machine is, what it does, what makes it unique. So let's get started. You bet. Well, I wanna show you, uh, this may be the only tool here that can make concrete in this whole show. So uh, <laughs> this is our C60 computerized unit. Uh, this is our 10 yard mixer. So this allows you to do 10 yards of concrete without having to be refilled. Uh, major components of it, first is the water tank. So there's a poly water tank inside of here. Uh, that distributes water to the back where all the mixing takes place. Uh, the main bin here in the middle is split in half, so there's sand on this side and then stone on the other side. All that uh, material sits on a conveyor belt. So basically, we store all the ingredients separate, and then at the end of the machine is where everything is mixed, which we'll show you here next. Mark, why is there a poly tank inside of the steel tank? Um, that right there is called an insulated water tank package. Okay. So if you're in kind of northern climates where it could freeze and the temperature oh, really? is colder, it'll actually put hot water in it. So it will keep, keep the water there. hot so that you can pour concrete later into the year cool. with it. Or even, we've got a lot of people in the south that are actually using those tanks to keep the water cold. Oh, so really? in the middle of the summer, they can actually pour longer because it's not it's hot not water. Hot. Yeah. So that bin back there where you see the two windows, that's what stores the cement powder. So that's uh, the powder that goes into the concrete here. We've got some different options. You can do colored concrete uh, with that option there. There's fiber reinforced concrete as another add-on option. Uh, but if you come back here, all those materials are pulled to the back. So powder drops here. There's additional chemicals that can be added here. So any admixtures that go into the concrete. And then if you look down the conveyor belt, you can kind of see how it's split. And then it's the sand on one side, the stone on the other. Water's introduced here as well. Everything drops down here at the bottom of the mixing auger. And about 10 to 15 seconds later, you have fresh concrete coming out. So this mixing auger runs about 280 RPMs uh, to mix all those ingredients together. Uh, to have fresh concrete coming out. So you never have a bad load, you never have a hot load, you only mix exactly what you need. You know, if you only need two yards, you, you'll stop the material from coming out, mix the rest, push this out, and then go into the next pour, which wow. could be half hour away, hour away. With a whole other mix design, you can do different mixes and in whatever quantity you want. What about clean out? Clean out, really, you're only worried about it from right here. So. Nothing comes together until the end here. So you'll run the material out at this point. There's a hose on the side that you can actually wash this part out. Um, or you can wait to get back to the yard and wash yeah. out. But really this is the only area you need to get clean. Other than that, all the holdings and everything, they're fine. We just keep adding aggregate, cement powder as, it, as we need it for whatever batch we're doing. Correct. Cool. So you go back to your yard, refill the truck if you need to go out for another load, but you don't ever have to run stuff out. You'll just put stuff back on top of it. Wow about this side over here we got some, you some different types of tanks for different things so uh, another option here this is our pneumatic fill so you can actually do continuous pouring with these units as well so this actually you can hook into a pneumatic tanker to blow in the cement powder and if you can stockpile materials on a job site you can actually just as you're pouring just continually fill it okay and this will do 60 yards an hour wow so we've got some customers that'll back up to a pump, two trucks, and do over 100 yards an hour wow. without even having to move the truck. That's wild. So these are chemicals uh, that would go into it, uh, water reducer, air entrainment, uh, stuff that you need for specific types of concrete. Um, so everyone kind of considers the short batches, doing short loads, which we do really well because we can start and stop as, as much as we want. But the continuous pouring is the big thing. So okay. just imagine doing 100 yards. That's 10 barrel trucks you're sending back and forth. With us, we can sit there, not even move, fill it, and do the same amount in two hours. Wow. So, so. Th this one's for uh, PRI. Yep. Tell us about how we can get these units on certain different types of trucks or whatever they want to do uh, as far as being made. Yeah, so PRI is uh, our biggest customer in Tennessee today. So this is their newest truck uh, that we'll deliver to them after the show. They're running about 20 trucks right now throughout the state of Tennessee. Um, they started as an asphalt contractor, got into the business, now have a kind of whole concrete division. Yeah. Um, this one's on a Freightliner. Uh, kind of depends on the contractor's choice. If they like Kenworth, Peterbilt's, whatever, we can put it on whatever chassis they need. Cool. Um, we've got chassis in stock at the factory that will mount everything in Iowa and then ship it out to wherever it's going in the world. Wow. 
Neat. Where can people learn more about Cement Tech and what the offerings are? Uh, best options is just our website, cementtech.com. Uh, we've got a lot of white papers, a lot of videos out there, customer testimonials, application videos on how to utilize our trucks. Um, we've been around a long time, you know, always in the concrete space, but love the asphalt <laughs> world now. Uh, we are a part of the Pavement Network Buyers Alliance, too, okay. so we've got a group of asphalt contractors that we're a vendor for. Um, a part of that, so it's been kind of fun learning more about the asphalt business and yeah. contractor life. Yeah, cool. Thanks again, man. All right. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks.